We're here with Dr. James W. Moore to discuss his book, Yes, Lord, I Have Sinned, But I Have Several Excellent Excuses. Jim, first tell us about your writing ministry and how it led to writing this particular book. Back in the uh, 1970s, early 1970s, I went to join the staff at First United Methodist Church in Shreveport, Louisiana. And the church had a television uh, studio and they said to me, we want you to look at ways we can do better stewardship in the use of this equipment. So find ways to, to use this equipment other than just broadcasting the worship service. So I began to produce television programs that had to do with faith. And I realized I didn't know what in the world I was doing. But there was, a, there was a man in town who had been one of the pioneers in television in Shreveport, and he worked with a CBS affiliate there. His name was John. So John and I became friends, and he helped me. He said, Jim, you have to decide, do you want to broadcast this message, or do you want to narrowcast this message? They're both good, they're both valid, but you have to decide which one you want to do, because once you make that decision, it will affect everything you do from that point forward. And I said, John, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. So he said, well, let me explain. He said, not too long ago, you uh, interviewed Bishop Shamblin about pension benefits for United Methodist ministers in the Louisiana Conference. He did a good job. You did a nice job. And he said, Jim, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but there is not anybody in our city lying in bed at 2 a.m. in the morning thinking, man, I wonder what those United Methodists believe. That is just not where they are. So he said, if you want to, to focus on a narrow audience of people, that's fine. But if you want to try to reach a lot of people, you have to broadcast your message. And I said, well, how do you do that? And he said, well, you have to ask, what are people asking at 2 a.m. in the morning? What are they worried about? What are they anxious about? What are they scared about? What are they feel fearful about? What, what are, what, how are people struggling in their souls? 